I just got distracted here for a second because I was, while we were playing, I was thinking of what number show was this cook show, and I think it's number 20. 20 yes. So, welcome to, to my kitchen, uh, my home, and uh, uh, Uwe and me, we're gonna cook something that we really, it's one of our favorite foods in the world, right? Yeah. We're gonna call it creamy salmon linguine. But, uh, you know, that's, we gotta see what that's gonna be. Okay, um, and we need some, uh, 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 we have some heavy cream, a little bit of sour cream to get it, you know, just taste it. We need some butter, we have a, a bell pepper, half an onion and some garlic, our usual spices. And you know, we have some dill, we need a little bit of vegetable stock, our aromat. And you like that too, right? It's a little bit of cayenne. A yeah. little bit of cayenne, just to give it a little bit extra uh -huh. heat. Of course, salt and pepper and some alcohol. We also need a little bit of white wine. The linguine is a pound of pasta here. And uh, some fresh chives. And about a pound and a half of salmon. Yes, that's that's all we're going to need. That's, what, are we, what are we using a piece of salmon? Mm -hmm. is it? Start with boiling some water. It's well salted water for the linguine. I'm going to put those on first. Mm -hmm. Jens has a new bridge on his banjo. Ah. It really sounds good now. I wanted to play some more sports on this thing. Uh, this, is, this is really going to be fun. And I, and I, I, brought, my, I brought my Martin. I got some new speeds on it. Uh, big boom. Big, big bother boom. <laughs> what do you want to play with? Um, you said something about uh, uh,
we, we used to play that, you know, yeah. with, with, uh, with, you know, many, many years ago. But we haven't actually ever played that. So let's cook it with Oh, yeah, let's cook it. Yeah, we're going to cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Here we go, we're just gonna have, we, we need one of these, these peppers and I just usually I just cut around them. <laughs> like Which the, is pretty ingenious. <laughs> you know, just cut around them and that's it, I think. <laughs> and I take my onion, I have about half an onion here, root out and very finely, as fine as possible, so to speak, you know, just not go through this. It's a very quick meal, so you want to cut your vegetables and, and onions and such finely. Nino. Nino knows we're cooking, so he's he's coming. Hello Nino, but there's nothing you can try now, you know. You don't like any of the things. No, you don't. No, no, no. A little bit of garlic. <laughs> the dog is getting scared. <laughs> is it? That's it, pretty much. Yes. All right, perfect. Here we can tr we can try we can try trays, and you can cut these uh, these peppers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's And so on and on. So you're gonna cut them in half afterwards? Or no, I don't think I'm even long enough. This is a smaller pepper. If, it's about, if it was a bigger pepper, then I would cut them in half. Mm -hmm. So these are gonna be nice like that. Again, cut them very finely. So I they just, say, I they just say, love, huh? I just love the, the smell of peppers, you know, the taste of peppers. And the smell of fresh peppers in the morning. In any meal almost, you know, this is just ingenious. here too so I'm gonna go with these cut them leave them together like that in my house I use mostly wooden boards because they're, they're a little lean more lenient on your knives plastic boards are kind of rough on knives are they? I don't yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. yeah okay but they look nicer and they're easier to clean, of course. You know, there, there's there's lots of uh, good points for plastic or um, you know. So I think we have mm -hmm. enough. We have enough material to to actually start cooking. Uh, start start the sauce, and mm -hmm. you know, um, while I do this, while I start the sauce, why don't you then cut the cut the salad? Yes, Does that, that sound good? Yeah, I'm gonna need a yeah. I'm gonna move it. Uh -huh. Okay, I think we're just gonna start cooking. We'll put some olive oil here into this pan and let it get nice and hot. Uh, let me just get, let me get the, uh, the butter. Not quite hot enough yet.
I just made it with the butter uh, because it, uh, I don't want it to get brown. I just want to really taste of the butter, so I fry the vegetables, fry the vegetables, you know, the onions and such, you know, in the, in the olive oil. And now I'm adding the butter. I also put the temperature down, you know, so it's not too hot anymore. Also add uh, about this much. Is it? Is it Keeping a teaspoon. Yeah, yeah. Of uh, um, a, a vegetable stock. A vegetable stock. Yeah, yeah. And now I just have to bring this to a boil to get rid of the alcohol. A piece of salmon here. And what's so nice about the there's no more bones in it, so I can just go ahead and cut it off the off, off the skin. This is not the right knife for it, but it works too. Let's go under it and just slide it through there. Got my salmon skinned. And I'm gonna cut it into nice little cubes. I'm gonna go about it twice like that. Cubes about this size, about an inch. Yeah, inside. Inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So the wine is actually cooked. The, uh, the wine is actually cooked a little bit. Now we can put the cream in. Mm -hmm. Nino. So we can actually um, now put some other spices in it, like some black pepper, of course a little bit of aroma. <laughs> this is almost empty. So and uh, and some of this uh, cayenne pepper, not too much, but it just adds just adds to this. Uh, so much. Mmm. Looking good. What do you think? Is the salmon? Is the we got the salmon? Wait, you want, let's put the salmon in here and let it, let it sit. Mm. Sour cream. Do you think that's true with the wooden spoon that the spaghetti will never cook over if you have a wooden Let's, let's try this. Take this one out and see, see if it's true. So uh, it's time to put the salmon right over. What do you think? Mm -hmm. huh? uh, because we don't want to overcook it. And we just have to be careful that we're not going to rip it apart, you know, once it's done. So I just put the salmon in here. And now comes also. The dill, um, dill is such a, dill and fish just go so well with the chives. Yeah. yeah, and the chives, yes. Put this on very low heat and put the uh, 
put it on top, and then just let it sit here for a while. I think we'll still have time to play a song. What do you think, Uwe? Yep. Well, the noodles are going to be done in about four minutes, so we don't have much. Four minutes much is enough time. for one little tune. What do you think? Yep. Yep. You know where that knife? Was made that I just used? No. Spain. In Spain. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Where in Sevilla? No, Toledo. Toledo. Uh -huh. Do you remember our good friend, you know, Olin Lyon? Yes. And, and Olin used to play banjo, you know, with. with uh, Maynard. Uh, yes, and he passed away a number of years ago now, but he was such a gentleman. He was a barber, yeah. actually. <laughs> and he was just wonderful. And he was such an Alan Shelton fan. And he yes. actually had an RB250, you know, arched up, you know, from 1962. And actually, we trade. I traded with him, you know, yeah. for for for, 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 bands, for right? actually, yeah, a, 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 a Gibson banjo that I gave him. Another one that he always wanted, you know, a Granada type, you know. So, mm -hmm. so I gave him that, and he gave me the Army two fifty, you know, just for sentimental reasons. I really wanted to have it. Mm -hmm. And then I, uh, so it ended up, you know, with Lodi actually in Germany. Mm -hmm. But his favorite tune was Lady of Spain. <laughs> and you know, every time we played, you know, he wanted to hear Lady of Spain. We never really worked it out. But I think. I learned the C6 chord for that song. Let's just try to do yeah. something else, right? What do you think? In honor of our good friend, uh, all I have. Starchy water from the noodles before I pour them, pour the water out, so because that's just going to help the, the um, consistency, right? I think that's just a little bit like that, huh? And then I'm going to, so? yeah. Do you think this needs to be thicker? No. Okay, yeah, fish is good. Fish. Yeah, yeah, good. Now we're gonna add the noodles straight into the into the sauce. And then from then make sure we don't stir it too much. Oh, good. Let it sit for us. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's, uh, carefully. Yes, carefully. Stirring. stirring. I said too many times I said steering last shows, you know. I wasn't aware I was making such... People made a drinking game out of it, Jens. 
Every time you say steering, they take a swig. They do. Mm -hmm. Okay, now temperature down. Set it aside. Oh, Uwe. That's it. Now that's it. We got time to play one more. Yeah. Because we I wanna let it sit for a while, you know? It just gets better. And we could actually clean the kitchen in that time, but I think playing music is a better option. Yeah. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. This is beautiful. The uh, noodles are waiting for us now and uh, let's do a song for uh, for Skip. You know, we have these bluebird prints that Charlotte sent us that, that Skip had signed and that was so, and kind, of her. so kind of her and uh, every time we played for Skip he wants to hear the song. Yeah, so maybe
this is how the finished plate looks. This is wonderful. Don't worry if the sauce seems to be a little thin, it'll thicken up in the plate while you eat it. It's a nice thing about this. Okay, Uwe, I'm ready to eat. Let's get some uh, tools. We need some tools. Let's see if this is edible. My, my, my plate seems to be harder than yours. Mmm, this is really nice. Yeah, the salmon is still nice. Mm -hmm. the salmon is perfect. Mm. Peppers are nice. You know what? It turned out much better than I thought it would. <laughs> you know, I was worried. Mm. Mm. Perfect. And see, you don't have to thicken the sauce because it really does thicken up in the plate. It really does, you're right. Mm -hmm. you're like right. I said, a lot of people are worried that the sauce is too, too thin like this, but mm. no. This is delicious. Yes. I'm so glad you know that but Melissa doesn't like it mm -hmm. because then we have to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. She always eats so much, you know, and then we have the cook show, you know, don't tell anybody. She always, you know, gets three or four weapons, you know. And then, you know stop, 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 oh, stop. She's this. Filming, <laughs> she's filming this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen, folks, this was a wonderful um, morning that we had here at my brother's house again. I really enjoyed this. This is one, like I said, this is one of my favorite foods. Salmon noodles done quickly, you can do it with any kind of fish that you, that you can find. So, um, as long as you don't cook it too long, just fix the sauce first, put the fish in and afterwards, mix the noodles, you can finish the noodles and the sauce as, as well, you know, like, uh, and then it, it warms up well, and uh, uh, it's just, uh, it usually a pan like this doesn't survive the day. <laughs> you know what, what I really, really like today was the music, so I really, really like the singing today. And you know what, for the first time in Idaho, you actually said what you said. You know, because you know, we're for, for months now. No, we're not. Because you know, I'm always, you know, I'm looking at my leg. I see you. I mean, I'm sitting on the table, you know, I'm looking at you, uh, away from you actually. Same as in the show. In the, That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. In the show, it's, it's different. But anyway, thank you all so much. And we say it's good. And, and we're to meet the nuns. And you all take care. And we see, this was the 20th show. I'm very yeah. proud of the nuns. Yeah. Yeah. Five more if we have a jubilee. <laughs> what is it, the silver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you tell me.